dear student friends welcome to the class of real analysis we are studying matrix spaces and today we will study open sets in matrix space its definition examples and uh, some properties of open sets uh, we shall study now here is the definition of uh, open set let m be matrix space we say a subset g of m is an open set of m or simply it is said to be open if for every x belongs to g there exist a number r greater than 0 such that the entire open ball b of radius r about x b of x comma r is contained in g so that is the meaning of open set consider any element in that set and construct an open ball around that element then the open ball must also be in the same set then the set is said to be open now we will consider examples of open sets we will uh, have interior of an ellipse in r2 first let a be the set set of interior interior elements or interior points interior of an ellipse in r then uh, we may see this is uh, an ellipse so interior points means the points which are inside the ellipse or if you consider the standard ellipse so then its center will be at the origin but uh, it is not necessary that it is uh, it should be a standard ellipse consider any ellipse and interior points of this ellipse these are uh, this is the set now we say this set is an open set now what the definition says uh, for every x belongs to g so uh, see this is the set a then consider any x belongs to this see this set there is r greater than 0 such that entire open ball of radius r around x is again in that so r can be selected at our choice so only the condition is it must be positive and around this so we will consider uh, the the radius uh, which is less than this distance so that it will not be outside the uh, ellipse and therefore we can construct an open ball around x of radius r and that open ball is again inside this ellipse so therefore uh, the interior of the ellipse now you should remember interior means the points which are inside the the boundary and not on the boundary that is important so uh, and if i consider a point close to the boundary but not on the boundary then an open ball we can construct around this um, point that should be inside the um, ellipse so that uh, in that case we have to uh, select the radius small to be small so if i select the radius like this then that open ball is also uh, in this set the open ball is contained in g here contained in a and uh, in this way so this uh, interior of an ellipse is an open set so uh, another example can also be considered if you consider the circle as uh, earlier we have studied open ball in two dimension so if we have a circle and a circle interior of circle or if it is a standard circle the origin will be the center a this will be x axis and y axis and interior of circle can be considered as uh, in two dimension x square plus y square is less than 1 and then this will also be this will form actually a disk and uh, these are the points so this uh, forms an open set open set so open subset of r2 because around every point we can construct an open ball which is again contain, uh, contained in this uh, subset g or that that uh, means uh, that the points which are close to boundary we have to select the radius very small and the points which are uh, near to center we can select uh, the radius at our choice that means for this uh, point we can consider the open ball somewhat bigger but the condition is its radius uh, must be uh, less than the radius of the circle and here we can have to construct an open ball 
So around every point we can construct an open ball such that the open ball is again contained in G. This open entire open ball is contained in G. Then G is said to be open set. So that is the meaning of open set. And um, now if I consider the circle, circle uh, of radius 1, then the points of, on this circle, whether if we consider the points on the circle or uh, the points on the boundary of this ellipse, then whether that set will be an um, open set. Now it will not be because if I take this point and if I try to construct an open ball around that point, whatever small the radius it will be, it's uh, some part will lie outside the, the set that is outside the interior of the circle. So this part is not there inside the set G and therefore uh, if we take this point on the boundary then it will not form an open set so therefore that's why the condition must be it is less than one or interior of this circle and interior of the ellipse or uh, similarly interior of the sphere will be open sets or open ball is uh, a uh, open set that uh, we will consider as our second example every open ball In a metric space, M is an open set. Every open ball is an open set. Now we shall prove this. Let M row be a metric space, or so let. And consider an open ball say around uh, uh, A point. Consider an open ball uh, B of radius S around point A in M. This open ball we have considered in M. Now we want to show this open ball uh, is open set of M and for that purpose we have to consider uh, that X belongs to this open ball. So that is the condition is for X belongs to G. When G is open any point in G we can construct an uh, open ball around that point which is again contained in G. So further we will consider let X belongs to this open ball. Then we have to show that an open ball around X is again contained in this open ball. Then that open ball will be open set. So uh, this, uh, for this purpose we shall draw a figure. Suppose uh, this is the open ball of uh, radius S around A. So this is actually B of a, B of A and S and uh, what we shall further consider uh, consider is X is in a point in this set. Now suppose X is here. X is a point and uh, what uh, we have to show that an open ball around X of radius R is again in this uh, open ball of radius S. So uh, further we have to show that there is r greater than 0 such that this open ball of uh, radius r around x is contained in the open ball original that is uh, of uh, outer open ball of radius s about a. Now uh, for this purpose we shall select this distance to be rho. Let 
or or this 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 distance to be t rho uh, distance mean uh, between a and x is t let rho of a and x is equal to t and uh, then or see this distance is t and i will extend it suppose this is x point and this distance is uh, t and what is what will be the remaining distance because the entire radius is s if this part is t this will be s minus t and therefore we have to take the radius which is less than this then the open ball will be entirely in this so or uh, instead of uh, this point i may consider uh, x here suppose and then uh, this part is considered as t so the remaining is s minus t so we have to select the radius which is less than this distance so that the ball around x will be this one and it is entirely of uh, suppose this is of radius r and this is uh, open ball of center x radius r and this open ball is contained in the earlier open ball of radius s about a and then that will show it is uh, uh, this is an open set a uh, open ball is an open set and further uh, we will uh, take r let r greater than 0 and r is s minus t let r is equal to s minus t and r is greater than 0 positive so uh, then uh, we will say that this uh, open ball and we now consider a point y inside the open ball further let y belongs to y belongs to the open ball of uh, see uh, uh, this open ball b x comma r then then uh, row of a and y see distance between a and y now we use triangle inequality will be less than or equal to distance between a and x plus distance between x and y this is by triangle inequality and now what is distance between a and x we have considered this as t and what is distance between uh, x and r because x uh, c y is inside this y is inside this uh, open ball uh, of b x r the distance between x and y is certainly less than this radius and therefore this is less than r and the relation becomes strictly less than r is the distance so r is the distance and the uh, r is the radius of this open ball and therefore rho of x y is less than r this is the reason and further again what we have is r r is less than, we should consider r less than s minus t not exactly if r is exactly s minus t then the radius will be up to the bound so we we'll consider let r is less than s minus t and if r is less than s minus t so this will be less than t plus s minus t since r is less than s minus t and now what is this uh, this is exactly equal to s so this is equal to s and thus we have rho of a and y is less than s and what this shows rho of a and y is uh, less than s means this point y is in the open ball of radius s around a so this belongs to this implies y belongs to the open ball of radius s around a and thus starts we have started with uh, y belongs to the open ball so y is inside this open ball and y is also inside the open ball outer open ball there are two open balls this is outer and we have constructed another inside this and y is in this so therefore y is in the open ball of uh, uh, radius s around a and thus this implies this one 
and therefore the open ball B of radius r about x is subset of the open ball of radius s around a and thus this shows that every uh, for every x belongs to the set open set the open ball around that x is again in this open ball and that is the condition of open set the open set means we can take any point inside the set and construct an open ball around that uh, set uh, around that point and then that open ball must be entirely again in the set so therefore this shows that this is an open set so thus the open ball is an open set open set in yeah and that means every open ball every open ball is open set so that is uh, the meaning or this is the example for open ball is always an open set in yeah now third example can be considered for a discrete matrix space we will have uh, let rd be discrete matrix space let a be a point a belongs to rd where rd is discrete matrix space discrete uh, matrix space we know earlier we have seen example that means um, uh, there are only two uh, measures uh, the distance between two points is either 0 or 1 when 0 the points are equal and when uh, 1 the points are distinct so is the discrete matrix space then this uh, single turn set A is the open ball of radius 1 around it. See, this will be center is A and radius is 1. So there is no other point inside this disk in uh, the discrete matrix space because the by definition of discrete matrix space distance between x and y is 0 if x is equal to y and 1 if x is not equal to y. So, uh, if it is at a distance A, all other distinct points are placed on the boundary and therefore there is no point inside this uh, uh, open ball and uh, except A, A is the center, center is the only point inside this disk and therefore A is, uh, this single turn set is the open ball A around, uh, uh, open ball of radius 1 around A and this is contained in R. This open ball is contained in R, and thus, therefore, every single turn set is the open ball which is contained in R, and therefore, every single turn set in R is open set. So, therefore, every single turn set, or that is one point set. A in Rd is open. Is open set. Every single turn set is open set in Rd. That is an example. Our next example. And now we will consider let again A belongs to R. Now what happens here for this uh, singleton set A? Then this singleton set A is not a subset, not a, a, an open set or not an open subset of R1. Why this is not an open subset of R1? Because if you uh, we have constructed an open ball around A and uh, that contains only a point A. Uh, but if uh, we consider this figure R1, R1 is an infinite uh, real line and uh, if I consider A, then an open ball 
around A will be an open interval. So therefore, however small the radius may be considered, that is not contained in singleton uh, set A. Since A does not contain an open interval, any open interval. Uh, this uh, open ball of uh, radius r, there is no r, r greater than 0 such that this open ball uh, around a of radius r that will be uh, is contained in a. Or actually this is not contained in a and therefore a is not open. This is the mean. And now we will consider the next example. That, that means uh, a set is open or not. That depends on the metric space. Here this singleton set A is open. But here the singleton set A is not open in R. It is open in Rd but not open in R. Now let uh, we will consider uh, the set that is half open this half open set zero one by two close that lower end open at uh, right end and is is not an open subset of R one. This is not an open subset of R1 uh, because see we, we can verify this uh, because if, uh, it is R1 and uh, now infinite line and uh, if you consider this as uh, 0 and this as half then the set is this one. So uh, if we consider 0 itself then we can't construct an open interval around 0 which is entirely again in this because if you consider the open interval around 0 some part will be on the left side and uh, some part will be on the right side of 0 the part on the left side of 0 will not be in this interval and therefore this is not an open subset of R1 but, but the set 0 the same set is an open subset of matrix space M and that is closed interval 0 to 1 with the same a matrix absolute value matrix now what happens here instead of R1 infinite line we have the matrix only 0 to 1 and uh, that means here this point is 0 and this is 1. Half is the middle point here. And here this set, uh, we will con if you consider any open ball around this, uh, at around any point, then that is again inside the metric 0 to 1. In this case, This, uh, this set is actually the open uh, ball of radius half around 0. In this case, uh, 0 half is equal to the open ball of radius half around 0. So we have seen this example earlier because what is uh, the open ball of half radius around 0? This is equal to, this is equal to m uh, x belongs to x belongs to 0 1 m m means 0 1 such that the distance between x and 0 is less than half and this is actually uh, see the set distance between 0 and x is less than half means x lies between minus half and plus half so that will be 
x belongs to the closed interval 0 to 1 such that minus half is less than x is less than half and what is the intersection of this intersection of minus half less uh, to plus half and 0 and 1 so the these uh, negative points are not in the matrix space so therefore the points will be 0 to half so this is equal to 0 half and thus this set becomes this set becomes open ball in this matrix space and we know every open ball is open set and therefore this is open and thus uh, it depends on the matrix space the same set is not open subset of R1 but this is the subset or this is open in M yeah. so therefore E is an open subset is an open subset of the matrix space 0 1 so that is the change in this matrix space is changed then whether the set is open or not depends on the matrix space so these are some examples of open sets so we have to understand the meaning Consider, uh, considering any point in the set the open ball we can construct an open ball around that point which is again entirely in the set now we shall consider some results of uh, open sets as theorem our first, our first theorem is in a matrix space M and rho the sets entire set M yeah. and pi and the empty set pi are open sets now the proof of this result in the matrix space M comma rho or M with matrix rho the entire matrix space M if you take entire matrix space M then it is open and if you consider the empty set then it is also open now if uh, we have this as uh, M the matrix space uh, M uh, and with matrix rho then this is an uh, open set so because uh, if you consider any point X in M then uh, we can construct an open ball around x which is again in m and this follows by the definition of open ball of radius r about x so that every open ball is always inside the matrix space m and therefore the matrix space m is open set so that is uh, this result is simple so we will write only let x belongs to m then by definition of this will be R the open ball B of radius R around X then then every open ball B of uh, radius R around X is by definition by definition of open ball is in M and therefore uh, M is complete uh, M is uh, say uh, open set therefore M is open M is an open set and uh, uh, what uh, uh, other is uh, pi is uh, open set see there is no point in phi, no x in phi. Further, there is no x belongs to phi, and therefore we can say if there is no point, then every point in empty set satisfies the uh, definition or condition of open set, and therefore pi is to be said open. It is a uh, trivial. 
So because uh, there is uh, no element which violates the condition of open set that does not satisfy the condition of open set means every point in empty set actually there is no point and therefore we say every element in phi satisfies the condition of open set so therefore every x belongs to phi satisfies the condition of open set and therefore pi is open therefore pi is an open set or therefore the empty set pi is an open set so this is uh, the next example uh, the, this is uh, the first theorem that we have uh, seen if we consider the matrix space m then entire uh, space m is always open set and empty set is also an open set actually uh, there is no element in empty set and therefore uh, every element we say satisfies the condition of open set and thus uh, this is our uh, first result so we have studied some examples of uh, open set and uh, first result we have studied the remaining results on open sets uh, we will study in next lecture thank you